Hi, I'm Peter Hart. Welcome to FAIR TV. The House Republican plan to cut $40 billion over 10 years from the SNAP food stamp program has been getting a lot of media attention, but sometimes reporters are letting balance get in the way of the facts. Take this USA Today story on September 18th. It tries to explain why the costs of the program have, in the paper's words, exploded. Democrats say the program has grown because the economy tanked. Republicans argue much of the expansion is attributed to states giving benefits to people who do not qualify. Well, we know there was a massive economic collapse and a painfully inadequate and slow recovery. That's reality. But Republicans are saying the program is full of fraud. Is that true? USA Today either doesn't know or doesn't want to say. They give us one Republican who says there is and a Democrat who says there isn't. However, according to the Inspector General of the Agriculture Department, there's basically no serious overpayment fraud in the program. And the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities points out that SNAP has, quote, one of the most rigorous payment error measurement systems of any public benefit program, close quote. The group also points out that historically, and rather predictably, the food stamp program swells in times of economic distress. So why can't USA Today report these things as facts? Perhaps because that would seem like taking sides. They'd prefer to take no position, which explains the on the one hand, on the other hand headline. That's perfectly balanced journalism, and it's also totally misleading. CNN a few weeks ago brought back its old crossfire left-right debate show. But the big question is, is Stephanie Cutter, one of the left hosts, there to actually represent the left or to represent the White House? Cutter has a day job at a PR firm called Precision Strategies, which means she has a lot of political and corporate clients. But early this month, a Fox News report said Cutter was part of a White House strategy session on selling the administration's Syria policy. So that could mean that Cutter takes part in these sessions and then goes on television to talk about how the White House message is working. And it turns out it's not just Syria. She was also, according to the New York Times, brought in to talk up Larry Summers to the media before he bowed out of the race to become the next Federal Reserve Chair. Cutter doesn't deny any of this. As she told Politico, no one's ever accused me of not saying exactly what I think. But if Cutter is huddling with the White House on strategy and then going on television to grade the White House on that strategy, that's a problem. Maybe not for her, but it should be for the news outlet that hired her. And finally, NBC White House correspondent Chuck Todd got a lot of attention for some comments he made on the MSNBC show Morning Joe, since he seemed to be giving viewers a sense of how he defines his job as a journalist. When a panelist said the public believed misinformation about the Affordable Care Act, Todd said this was because Republicans have successfully messaged against the program. And he added this. What I always love is people say, well, it's you, your folks' fault in the media. No, it's the President of the United States' fault for not selling it. I just now that struck a lot of people as Todd saying that it wasn't really the media's role to sort facts from fiction. No, it's all a messaging war between Republicans and the White House and the White House is pretty bad at it. Todd defended himself on Twitter later that day. But what he said he didn't say sounds a lot like what he did say. And as people have been arguing for years, if reporters aren't going to aggressively debunk misinformation, then the public loses. And it's pretty clear people don't know much about this new healthcare law. But in another world, Chuck Todd has a very different idea about what it is that reporter Chuck Todd is doing. Take a look at this MSNBC commercial. My job is to bring up issues that Americans care about. It's my responsibility to ask the tough questions. No matter who's leading the country, they need to be held accountable. I have unique access to the president, his advisors, the candidates, and members of Congress. I better use that access for a greater good. Use it for people who can't get through the White House gates, for people who can't be heard. The American people deserve answers. Ah, uh, if only Chuck Todd were more like that guy. I'm Peter Hart, and this was Fair TV.